Hey Virgo, so we're into February 2023 and this is your five minute forecast from me, Louisa Tanner Munson from feelgoodastrology.com. Anyway, um, so February has got a few um, big patterns going on, but not anything like the patterns that are starting in March. Um, and boy, that's a time when you need to really um, have your wherewithal, Virgo. Um, you really do need to be ready for March because the stuff that's happening is really feeding into some of your patterns. Anyway, um, February itself has got this full moon in the sign of Leo on the 5th of Feb, and that's taking place in an area of your chart that really highlights your blind spots. Um, it tends to be a time when we feel really quite sensitive, but in a way that we're not quite sure why. You know, there's this almost can't put my finger on where this emotion is coming from, but it feels like there's something really big behind it. So this is definitely like the, the 5th of February is a full moon, really, I would say a time when it's worth you really not planning anything too busy. You know, it's a time when it would be really good to just take it easy um, and be really kind on yourself. In particular, um, it's a time to work out where you belong. You know, it's not always easy to get that sense of belonging. But um, with the full moon in this place that it's happening in your chart, Virgo, it's really highlighting how um, how you want to be really, really connected and yet are just feeling slightly out of it all. So it's worth paying a little bit of attention to it, really, really listening inside, you know, like listen to what's going on, feel your body, you know, like you guys are like Virgo, you are absolutely in touch with your body. You're always um, noticing what's going on and how your body's talking to you. So it's really important that you really listen in, um, tune into what's going on. Now, um, for the first couple of weeks of this month, um, up until the, um, I think the 18th of Feb, you're really going through a phase of working out how you um, are getting organized. You know, it's a time of sorting out how you are organizing your health, how you're organizing your body, how you're organizing your work. It's a time of getting all your habits up to scratch. It's almost like the, the perfect time for you to do a spring clean. Uh, it really suits you at this time. Um, and then from about the 15th to the 20th, you're going through this transition of not being so organized, but going into a bit more of a dreamy phase, into a phase where you're letting other people in a little bit more. So I do see the first part of this um, month ahead as you really kind of coming into yourself and, and doing things in private, like getting your life working well, you know, being quite orderly, being quite strict with yourself. But then from the 15th of to the 20th, starting to kind of think, okay, well, I've done as much as I can now. Now it's time to celebrate with people. Now it's time to feel other people in my life. And there is this really lovely dreaminess around the time of Valentine's Day. In fact, your, your um, sign is really nicely um, set up for this Valentine, Valentine's period. You know, it feels like there are dreamy people and lots of potentials around you around Valentine's Day. And then immediately after that, there's this, come on, let's pull your socks up and, and get back down to business on the 16th. So around the 15th and 16th, I just see really strong energetic shifts that are moving you into a, a creative new phase in in particular one where you can co-create with others now towards the end of the month we are moving into the territory of um hidden agendas and also family patterns and shared resources that you have to manage with other people you know the kinds of problems that arise from um a shared context, you know, like when you're growing up, you know, everyone um, has a reputation within the family and you all kind of live under the thumbprint of your uh, reputation. And so towards the end of the month, the 23rd to the 28th, it really feels like whatever reputation you've had within your family or within your close matrix of friends 
it's really um, weighing you down. You know, it's a time to heal some of that. So where there are some miscomprehensions and misunderstandings in terms of who you are, you might want to update that. And, and that is the perfect time to do that. In fact, the more you can do that before we go into March, the better off you will be. Anyway, I hope that's helpful to you, Virgo. Um, if I can be of any further assistance, then just drop me a line. It's Louisa Tanner Munson at gmail.com. And you can also go to feelgoodastrology.com if you would like me to have a look at your chart. Anyway, have a great month ahead and see you next month. Lots of love.